Hi everyone, happy Tuesday. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Topps Triple Thread to Baseball 9 Box Inner Case Picker Team number 8 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Looks like Jason did the first half and here's PYT number 8 right here. Big thanks to all of these folks over here. Thank you very much for getting into the action. Um, we have Adam Davidson, Last Spot Mojo Tigers, and a bunch of random number block teams. Which are right here. And right here. Oh, I forgot to upload those videos. The results of which will be on on the website, on, the, on our YouTube page. All right, so those will be uploaded. Up, they're uploading right now. All right, so we'll set these aside next to me, and now let's make this happen. And we've got game six underway. That's what you're hearing in the background. Astros up two one. Astro or Nationals struck first on Verlander, and then. Uh, then the Astros came up in the bottom of the f first to put two runs on Strasburg, including a sort of a monster shot from uh, from Bregman. All right, good luck, everybody. What does everyone think? Now that we saw the first inning of the game. Can the Astros win it tonight? Or are the Nationals going to extend this by one more game? But Matt and Gavin think the Astros are going to take care of business tonight. There's Roy Halladay to 299, Juan Soto to 50, Syndergaard to 199, and Josh Hader to 259. And these non-numbered base cards, if they're part of a number block team, those don't ship. But everyone else who bought their team straight up, these non-numbered base cards will ship which was in the item description. Okay. Glaber Torres reveals a Byron Buxton, 3 out of 36. Award sweet, it says. Aha, uh -huh, there you go. That'll be for David and the Twins. Next one is a Yankee. Glaber's teammate, Tiaro Estrada, 18 out of 25. That'll be for the Yankees number block. And that is Yankees 8. And Yankees 8 is for Nancy. There you go, Nancy. We've got Colby Allard, triple relic and autograph, 22 out of 75. That's for, that's for Fong, who got the Bravos. And another Yankee, Miguel Andujar, pinstripe relic, 14 out of 36. So that'll go to four. Yankees four is for Brad. There you go, Brad. All right, next box. That's right, Gavin. Yeah, Verlander's never won a World Series game. He's like 0 for 4 or 5 or whatever. But he, well, he won with the Astros a couple years ago. But, uh, 
I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if uh, he didn't win a. Yeah, he didn't win in with the Tigers. Yeah, he's got a ring, but he hasn't 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 had a game yet. Right, yeah, I guess he's he's like the Kershaw of the AL. All right, there's Bregman. Just hit a big home run to 299 for the Strohs. Todd Helton to 99, Goldie to 259, and Koufax to 299. More base card right here. For the Cubs. Ooh. Sammy Sosa. Printing plate and autograph. Wow, that's pretty cool. There she blows. That's the white whale for Andrew Wagner and the Cubbies. Nice one, Andrew. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. <clears throat> Excuse me. Fran Mill Reyes. That's for the Padres. Diane picked up the Padres. All right. Then we got Carlton Fisk, White Sox legend, 35 out of 36. That that's a random number block team. And that will be for number 5. White Sox 5 goes to Jason. This will put this paperwork right over here, right next to me right here. All right. And we've got Lane Thomas, 7 out of 50 for the Cardinals. Cardinals are picked up by the X line. There you go. All right, so third box right here. Gavin says, I can't believe Jordan Allen does not have a tops card. He's going to win Rookie of the Year. Well, he came on kind of late. If you think about it, Gavin, a lot of the a lot of the top products already in production, well into production by the time the season, um, probably even before the season begins. So I can believe it. It makes a lot of sense, actually. It's like when Reese Hoskins burst out on this, onto the scene a number of years back. Same sort of situation. No one really expected that to happen. He might be an update, actually. But in terms of like significant hits and stuff like that, I'm not sure. But don't worry. There'll be plenty of Jordan Alvarez next year. Yeah, Kent says not an update. There's Ichiro to 299, Abreu to 99, Alomar to 199, Rizzo to 259. All right, behind Cal is a Tampa Bay Ray. It's Austin Meadows, 26 out of 75. What's up, Patrick? What's going on? Scott V with the Rays. And we got a Yankee, Miguel Andor autograph this time. 13 out of 75. Yankees 3 is Yervin. There you go. Nice one for Yankees 3.
for the Rays. Autograph this time for Austin Meadows. 16 out of 18 for Scott. Got the Rays straight up. And there's Marcel Ozuna. 15 out of 36, Marcel Ozuna for the X-Line and the Cardinals. All right, next third of the case. Gary saying this squad is swinging at Yankees. Yeah, I'm surprised that the Yankees aren't snapped up straight up whenever they're available. I haven't seen that guy's autograph yet. Nothing changed at by the end of the second. Going into the third inning now. The World Series. Game six. Getting pretty exciting. No home team has won yet. Nationals won two in Houston. And then the and then the Astros won the next three in Washington. Now here we are in game six. There's Yvonne Rodriguez, Pudge to two ninety nine. Wade Boggs, 75. Shohei Otani to 259. Ronald Cunha Jr. to 299. Anthony Bonilla says that changes today. It's pretty surprising to me. I didn't, I didn't think that, that that would be the situation at this point of the series, but there you go. Johan Camargo, triple relic and autograph, 67 out of 99 for Fong and the Bravos. And then we got more Cardinals. Colton Wong, 21 out of 27 for the X-Line and the Cardinals. For the Mariners, we've got nearly nine. 27 out of 36, nearly nine. Ken Griffey Jr., Randy Ramos, and the M's. Nearly nine what? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, there you go. Nearly nine. Got close. For the Red Sox, we've got Chris Sale, jersey and autograph. 81 out of 99, Chris Sale, Boston Red Sox, Jonathan Kent. A um, lot of controversy in, in terms of balls and strikes in the last World Series game. I think the Nationals felt hard done by. Um, robot umps, are we into that? I mean, everyone thinks they can look at the, the, any K-zone box, right? And they think that they can call balls and strikes, but is the computer acknowledging for the height of the ball player? Like the box will be different for Altuve versus... Aaron Judge, right? I mean, are they making like if I could get insur assurances about that? It doesn't look that it look like the box changes on camera here. It's always the same shape. You can't really call balls and strikes with that thing. I don't think it stretches up and down. But if, if they can assure that kind of scaling and that kind of, and of course the accuracy, you know, I think, uh, I think I would consider the robot ump. Or at least the umpire with an earpiece. Or I would even allow, I would even allow like a, 
like a challenge or something like that. But something very quick, not like a video replay. There's Aaron Judge to 299. Not like a video replay. Nolan Ryan to 75. Moncada to 259. Jim Palmer to 2. You know, not thinking like like a video replay kind of challenge. But what if each hitter, you know, once in at bat could just quickly be like, hey, can you look at that really quick? And then they can get an earpiece and say, yeah, that was right. And then done. Like just a quick conversation. And you get an earpiece that said, maybe you start there at that level. You know, maybe you start there and then you go from there. There's Brandon finding Nemo. Six out of 50. Chance is definitely robot umps. Gary likes the umps calling it. But like an earpiece and then they call it like the robot goes to the earpiece. I don't like not having an ump behind there. That just looks weird visually. Mets, that'll be for David. Behind Pedro is a cub. That'll go to Andrew Wagner. He got a piece of Kyle Schorber's lumber. 36 out of 36. Oh, just no robots in general. I think that's the way it's trending, though. I think we have so much access to, like, pitch pitch tracks and the box on the screen and fan graphs will have their pitch tracking and all that so readily available to the public that um, there's Albies, by the way, to, uh, to Fong and the Braves, that I just think there's Jeremy Jeffers for the uh, Brew Crew to 99. I think it's trending that way. That says topless female arms. I'm not sure if that's going to go over well with the uh, the female audience. Matt Matt forgetting that that women watch baseball too. Not sure if they'll be thrilled with that. What up, Rem? What do you think, Liverpool match versus Tottenham? I thought Liverpool did a great job. I was not not worried a bit. I think Tottenham's been kind of struggling this year, and I think Liverpool did just fine. Kurt is saying baseball takes too long already. <laughs> Robot umps would make that go a little bit faster. Eric saying since we're on the topic, still using sticks and chains for the NFL. See, that's that's weird too. But the initial spotting of the ball is is initially flawed already. So it does, the sticks and chains don't really matter. If you want to fix that part of it, you have to you have to change how they spot the ball. Right now it's just just refs just eyeballing it. So the sticks and chains are already um, are already uh, you know are, are already irrelevant since there are humans eyeballing it anyway. 299 Mike Trout, Blake Snell to 199, Randy Johnson to 299. Right, they could go to RFID chips. That'd be the interesting thing until they get hacked. Um, yeah, Atlantic League has been testing it, Mad C. But I'm not sure if you can you can make like a sweeping change like next week, you know. But I think we have to make moves towards it. I think just for more accuracy. Seven out of eight, double play, seven out of nine, double plays, Kyle Seeger. Nice Kyle Seeger for the M's. Randy Ramos with the Mariners. The random number block with the George Springer, five out of 36. That goes to Jason in the number five. No, no book in this yet. No book in this yet. We got Salvador Perez, flawless triple relic. 24 out of 27. Oh, just in general? Yeah, we've pulled like... I don't know, of all the triple threads we've done, maybe... Four or five books. Yeah. 
There's Jose Martinez, jersey and autograph, 43 out of 99. That'll be for the Cardinals, the X line. And the final three boxes. Good luck, everybody. Jeremy says there's a YouTube video of a minor league baseball player yelling at an umpire who's getting calls by a robot ump. <laughs> oh boy. Well then I can I guess you can start separating the uh, the the smart ball players from not the smart smart ball players. I don't like that rule. The players being able to steal first base. I think they're testing that in the, in the Atlantic League too. I'm not not sold on that. I think I'm sold on taking steps to, to progress towards getting more accurate balls and strike calls. Gosh, especially in a World Series, right? I mean, when it when it's like the double header between two bad teams in the middle of July, then I don't care as much. But at least, at least in the World Series. We have been to one Atlantic City, the one a few years ago. There's Shoei Otani to 259. I think there's another one this year in AC, right? Ricky Henderson, Justin Verlander, Ben Intendi. We might go there this year, or next summer, I guess. The next one. And there's Blake Snell, home cooking. 15 out of 18. Triple Relic and Autograph for Scott and the Rays. That rule I do like, Sean. I like the extra innings starting with the runner on second, but not until like the 12th inning. I want to give it 10, 11, and 12. Yeah, and then the 13th inning. Then I would say start putting the runner at second. There's Anthony Rizzo, 15 out of 18. Andrew Wagner with the Cubs. Although I have been to like a few games that have lasted into like the 16th, 17th inning and stuff like that. It's pretty fun. And there's a triple, I thought it was going to be a triple relic, triple auto. But no, just a triple relic of these sluggers right here. Frank Thomas, Ken Griffey Jr., and Mark McGuire, 5 out of 9. So that'll be a randomizer at the end of the break between those three teams. One happy person, two sad people. And back here is a Yankee jersey and autograph, Luis Severino, 84 out of 99. Yankees four for Brad. Two boxes to go. Good luck. I like the idea of the three innings before the runner at second for extra innings, Anthony. I, I think mostly because that kind of gives you technically a chance to go around the order once, once through. You know, there's Barry Larkin, so I mean that's that kind of evens that out, gives everybody a fair shake through the lineup. You know, and then you start adding the runner at second. There is Evan Longoria, 8 out of 18 for the Giants. Hot corner leader. Speaking of the Giants, 
Sean Corbin saying Mark McGuire's made a comeback in the eyes of lots of baseball fans because he came out and meant to using and has been around baseball coaching since. Bonds of Giants and Pirates fame. I think Bonds could do the same if he follows. Red Sox, Andrew Benintendi, 71 out of 75, jersey and autograph for uh, Jonathan Kent and the Red Sox. I wonder, I think McGuire being involved in coaching has definitely has definitely helped that. And maybe to get jobs as a coach, nice Nick Cufo. 64 out of 75, triple relic and autograph for Scott. Maybe he had to sort of confess before he can start getting regular coaching jobs and maybe that's something that he's wanted to do, you know? So I wonder if Bonds wants to get into coaching if, uh, if that's the path that he'd, he would go down, you know? There's two out of three, Buster Posey. What's up, Chad? And that's an out of three, Posey, for the Giants. Giants are a number block team. So San Francisco 2 is going to be for Nancy. There you go, Nancy. I don't know why there's so much dust on that top loader, but there you go. It's a little bit cleaner there. Nancy, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! And there's Trey Mancini for the Orioles. Yeah, I'm not sure. Sean, I, I think. I think McGuire was arguably more well liked anyway, right? I think Bonds has always been sort of surly. Sort of surly guy to the media anyway and and in those in baseball circles from what I understand. See, I don't think was Bonds Bonds wasn't a hitting coach for the Marlins a few years. I think he was just like a like a roving instructor, I think it was. Not sure if he was officially a hitting coach. Maybe he was. Yeah, the Triple Threads is nice. One of my, one of my favorite products each year. Right, right, Sean. Um, well, it's a family show. I can't say the other word. You gotta be professional. There's Machado, so I think Bonds has a longer way to go, even if he admits it, which I don't think he will because I think he's surly. There's a Roberto Alomar, 299, Chris Bryant, 299. Dodger boy, I'm a Dodger fan. Diehard Dodger fan. We're here, we're here in L.A., so grew up here. Four out of nine, rare stats. Hunter Dozier. Oh, he was the like the official hitting coach for the Marlins. I thought it was more of a short term thing. Royals for the X line. And there's Derek Rodriguez, Pudge's kid, jersey and autograph, forty eight out of seventy five. And that's another giant for the number block. San Francisco eight. Nancy, there you go, Nance. There's CC Sabathia, eight out of eighteen, man of the two thousands. Yankees eight is also Nancy. There you go, Nance. Juan Soto watch, two men on, two outs, one and two the count. Nationals down a run. Will the legend of Juan Soto continue? This would be good for the hobby. And Ver... Oh, he grounds up. 
And back here is Ozzy Albies to close things out. 18 out of 30, 19 out of 36. A piece of Ozzy Albies lumber going to Fong Nguyen, who has the Bravo. So there you go. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. There's the website right there. No randomizers to do? No, nice clean break. That was pick your team number eight. There should be some more in the store. Check it out. I think the random team is really close too. So check it all out on jazbeescasebreaks.com and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.